All right, that brings us to the end this week of these this lecture. I just want to go over a couple of quick things. First of all, here are the week four discussion topics. First, in Manhattan, read the ACER group uh, case study on page 99 of the text and answer this question. Do you believe that ACER's bare bones cost strategy will allow the company to maintain competitive advantage in the future? And you need to explain your argument. Don't just say yes or no or I think this, but I want to see that you've thought through um, your argument. And to the extent that there is a sort of, there really is an argument in the thread, respond. Think about what other people have said and make sure that you, um, you provide some feedback on their thoughts as well. Consider Porter's five forces as you apply the cost leadership um, model to your analysis. So uh, remember the five forces and then think about how it applies. The other discussion forum is in BSTRAP 450. It is on Blue Ocean Strategy, as I've said. Read and view the posted materials. Uh, there's videos, internet resources, etc., on Blue Ocean Strategy including you've got to read my blog this week. If you, week. if you don't read my blog, you're not going to get the full assignment. And then you need to do the Cirque du Soleil discussion. Participate in the Blue Ocean Strategy and Cirque du Soleil discussion forum. I think it's kind of interesting. I think this is a fun topic. Um, and so hopefully you'll get a lot out of it. Next week's agenda, we're going to get to our first uh, feedback. Uh, I called it mid-semester course feed, or mid-semester course evaluation. I recognize it's not really mid-course. It's a little bit more like the first third of the course or even a little bit less. Um, but the feedback will help me with enhancements to the class, so I wanted to get it earlier. You may recall I changed the syllabus to reflect that this feedback was going to come a little earlier. To the extent that it's going to be valuable at all for this class as opposed to future versions of this class, I thought getting it earlier um, would allow me to make perhaps a few more enhancements to improve your experience in this class. It's also part of the sort of the notion of continuous improvement and strategic reevaluation that um, I think has been sort of a recurring theme in some of my uh, lectures. And then we're going to get into the next round of strategy formulation, which is um, a discussion of both competitive rivalry and competitive dynamics. Uh, we'll, I, the agenda will be more specific than this, but those are going to be two of the key areas. Again, I may begin to interweave uh, comments and thoughts based on Blue Ocean strategy as well. Uh, I think competitive rivalry and dynamics is very much old school, uh, but I, I think that you need to understand it uh, and then understand how you might enhance it based on Blue Ocean strategy. All right, just a quick summary of um, current and upcoming assignments. First, this week, just a reminder, you need to complete the periodic chapter assignment, number two. Um, that requires you to view chapter four of the, the, the chapter four video case, H.J. Heinz Company, and submit uh, questions to one to three on page 125. Um, you need to submit your responses no later than February 16th at 10 p.m. on Manhattan. A couple of thoughts or comments based on the first round of uh, periodic chapter assignments. First, um, most everybody's done a great job, and I appreciate uh, everybody's effort. Uh, as you know, I considered um, deadlines to be very important, and I've been holding everyone to those deadlines. I, I think everybody, uh, uh, largely everyone's been very good about meeting deadlines with only a couple of exceptions, but it's absolutely essential that you meet those, assi those assignment deadlines. Um, I've followed up directly with anyone who hasn't, and to the extent that you haven't or that you haven't followed directions clearly um, I, by the deadline, I'm going to be deducting points uh, as outlined in the syllabus. So. Even though these assignments are relatively small, no single assignment, even if you got hit pretty hard, will have an incredibly detrimental effect on your grade. Um, you don't want to be in a position to, at 20 p points a day, to end up with a very significantly subpar grade on any one of these chapter assignments. So please get your assignments in on time. The other thing, and I had a couple of folks post their periodic chapter assignments as though they were posting 
discussion forums. So they just went, they just basically did a res an email response in the assignment section without putting the assignment into a Word document. Um, go, uh, the, clearly that's not what's expected in the syllabus and going forward uh, I expect to get a uh, an assignment on an eight and a half by eleven Word document or Word equivalent document for each of the three remaining periodic chapter assignments. So please be sure that you submit the document in the correct form. I will bounce it back in the future uh, if you uh, have not submitted it in the proper form and expect it to be submitted in the proper form because that's one way for me to be able to have some consistency amongst the assignments. So a couple of, uh, sorry about those comments. Uh, overall, again, I want to say everybody's been very, I think has done a good job. I will try to get grades to you uh, within a within um, a, the relatively near future for periodic chapter assignment one. Um, and again, in terms of deadlines, I'd also like to note February 16th isn't even during the same week. I try to give you about 10 days to get one of these assignments done. So hopefully uh, that works for you. Next week, uh, you're going to want to read the textbook, chapter five, pages 28 to I mean, one, I'm sorry, 128 to 151. Uh, you're going to want to view the chapter five video case, NetJets, which is in Cengage now. And uh, I, I guess I'll stop here for a second. I know that there have been some challenges with the video cases in Cengage now. Uh, I did send out some additional instructions in the form of an email. One of the simplest solutions that seems to be uh, addressing most people's concerns is to shut off pop-up blockers uh, when you go into send gauge now to view the videos there's some additional instructions on how to clear your cache if that's still a problem if all else fails then you uh, and you still can't get videos please do not go to customer service I have been unhappy with what with the service we've gotten from send gauge I know that a couple of you have gone through small um, small nightmares dealing with them you shouldn't be going to customer service, period. Don't go to their tech support. Don't go to their customer service. You should be going to Laura Sandhusen, our representative. And again, I've said this many times, but her email address is laura.sandhusen at sendgage.com. She will solve your problem. So first and foremost, make sure you've gone to our handout section, looked at the instructions on how to use Sendgage now. Um, if you're having trouble with the videos, make sure you've shut off pop-up blockers. That may be your problem. But whatever you do, um, please don't go to the customer service. Go to Laura Sandhusen. And then um, this coming week, you need to view the posted lectures on Manhattan, as usual. And you need to participate in the Manhattan and BSTRAP 450 network discussion threads for the week. Those will open on February 15th at um, 10 a.m., and they'll close um, at February 20th uh, at 10 p.m. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact me, as I say every week. Uh, you, uh, I guess the one question I have for everybody, and I will be posting an email to this effect, um, is whether video conference, conference office hours are even useful to anyone. This may be an example of over-engineering, as I described in my lecture earlier. You know, I put a feature out there that I don't think there's any interest in. Uh, I'm going to send an email uh, out this week asking whether we should maintain those. If not, I don't need to do that. And then um, I think the best way for us to stay in touch is via post office in Manhattan, which I think everybody has been, or um, preferably by appointment uh, by phone. And I've had a handful of telephone conversations with you when, when you've wanted. So uh, maybe that's a better way to maintain office hours. But certainly want you to think about it and you probably will by the time you see this email have seen um, I mean have seen this lecture you'll have seen an email in which I ask whether we ought to keep video office hours at all my instinct now is we probably shouldn't um, uh, since there was no interest in the first set and my guess is that's probably going to be a recurring theme but I want to make sure before I discontinue the offer of having video conference hours um, beyond that, I hope you have a good week and look forward to uh, catching up with you in the discussion forums. Thanks.